Sitting here on the bleachers, I was uh, unable to avoid picking up one of the programs of uh, the game and looking at some of the little biographies. You ever see them in there? They're, they're so tiny. Uh, here's one here. Joe Jones, six feet two, 190 pounds, fourth string tackle. That's all it says. One little paragraph to, to tell you about one man. Of course, there's a lot more behind every college football player than a couple of lines, and today we'd like to take a chance to bring those words to life, to take a look at the captain of a team. Just a week ago, that the daily train brought Kerry Smith back to Middlebury, Vermont. Classes hadn't even started yet, but Kerry was getting restless. He was back now, and with each step toward the familiar campus, he felt a little better and a little happier. Because this was Carrie's last year at Middlebury. He wanted to roam over the campus all by himself, to think back and to look ahead. Middlebury College, founded in 1800 with just two buildings, a classroom for the mind and a chapel for the soul. And basically, that philosophy of education remains unchanged. Without really thinking about it, Carrie found himself headed for the brand new Memorial Field House. And in a few moments, there he was, just as he had hoped to be. A hello to the coach, Duke Nelson. Hello, Duke. Why, Smitty, glad to see you. How are you? Fine. What makes you come back so early? Well, I had the urge to come back. I was restless for the last two or three weeks. I guess Middlebury's just in my blood. Well. I felt the same way when I went to school here, Carrie, so you're no different. Quite a while ago, though. Wonderful place, yeah. You know, we have 62 men coming out this year. For really? one platoon football, that's quite a bit of men. That is. Yeah. Duke Nelson, football coach, one of the men who have devoted their lives to the sport. Duke has been a model man all his life, proud of his school, proud of his team. Fine. Well, let's go in to see our dormitory. We've got a new dormitory for you men this year. We don't expect let you sleep too much, but okay. you may get some. Next stop, Porter Field. And they've kept it in pretty good shape this year. A little soft yet, but the first good frost is going to harden that up, as you know. Those cleats tied to a bag there, Kerry couldn't wait to put them on because this will be his last year of football. And this year, he's the captain of the team. As he went by the familiar spots, he couldn't help to feel that surge of excitement. Almost could he hear the crowds roaring in those stands and the band blaring out a march. It's a funny thing, Kerry hadn't been up in the grandstand since his days as a freshman when he was eligible to play in the varsity. In those days, he couldn't wait for the time to pass. But now it's a little different, because this is his very last year. Should be a good year, though, maybe the best. It should be a real good year. Pretty soon, those stands will be filled and Carrie Smith will be down on the field in the game, the captain of his own team. At Middlebury, like most colleges, football is the cornerstone of almost every other collegiate sport. The gate receipts from it make possible a host of other activities, both intercollegiate and intramural. And here at Middlebury, every student who engages in some form of athletics can be grateful to college football. At colleges like Middlebury, all athletics, even football, are counted as extracurricular. And with Carey, more than most students, games can occupy only a fraction of his total time on campus. For Carey has a tuition scholarship. He must maintain a C average. And it's little wonder that Carey sits quietly now in that Winsup Stadium and thinks of the classes that are soon to begin. This year, for example, you'll have Professor Donald Ballou in math, and that C average will be a little tougher. Before he switched to English, Carey majored in chemistry. His professor was young Walter Moyer, another Middlebury man who came back to teach where he was taught. To college with a purpose is what it says in the Middlebury catalog, and Professor Moyer does his very best to give each student the individual attention which makes such a vital difference. For Carey, chemistry is still a pretty tough job, and it's a pleasant surprise when the professor nods in approval.
One of Carey's three part-time jobs at the campus usually makes him just a bit late for Professor Erie Volkert's drama class, but he made it, you see. And for the man who teaches the timeless drama of William Shakespeare, a few minutes isn't going to make very much difference, he figured. In fact, uh, just to prove that all is forgiven, Carey is allowed to the first reading. His admiring audience includes a Miss Jean Walters, a brunette, a junior, and a girl who is just beginning to appreciate not only Shakespeare, but the men who read it. Now Carrie thinks of another side of life at Middlebury College, a very pleasant side. No young man of 22, no matter how busy with books or work, can completely ignore the fun of campus life. And chapel is out now, and the day is their own. In the winter, they're skiing, and at Middlebury, almost a compulsory course skiing. There's the Middlebury Winter Carnival, famous throughout the country, offers a beautiful annual testimonial to the snow-covered campus. Then this spring, for Kerry, well, that'll be kind of a bittersweet time. It'll be the end of the four happiest years he has known. There will be compensations, though, those trips along the Champlain Valley, close, quiet moments on the steps of the chapel with Jean, with Middlebury stretching far below there. On Sunday mornings, church at the Congregational Church, and then, if Carrie is flush, uh, dinner, perhaps, in town at the start of a long, warm, lazy Sunday afternoon. Spring at Middlebury for the last time. A full, busy year with so much to do and so little time to do it. If there's one place that Carrie hadn't been, except in thought, He'd like to take a walk to that, he thought. So he left Porterfield and started on the most inspiring walk he knew. In fact, he still had some thinking to do, he thought, about Jean, about college, about joining the Marines after graduation, about his career. Well, a young man thinks of many things. So Carrie walked high up to a hill, to the chapel, Middlebury Chapel, with simple, clean, white lines, aloof, yes, but at the same time somehow inviting always. Carrie Smith, this is the start of your senior year here in the hills of Vermont that you've come to love so well. Whatever honors you've won have come the hard way. You worked for them as you did for that M on your sweater. And you're proud of your school and of your team and most important, you're proud to be a Middlebury man. And whatever may come to you, you've got a good feeling that you're ready for it. Carrie Smith of Middlebury College and captain of the team. Goodbye to the college.